Hi, I'm Allie, a senior artist for Sephora at Town Center Plaza in Kansas City. And everybody needs a good, quick, on the go kind of look. And so today I'm gonna show you how I get my everyday girl on the run look. Okay, I'm gonna start by using Pharmacy Green Screen Daily Environmental Protector Broad Spectrum Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30 with Echinacea Green Envy. And I'm just taking about a pearl size amount and applying this all over my face. I love this SPF just because I tend to be more sensitive to chemical sunscreen and this doesn't have any chemical. It is all physical SPF and it doesn't leave a white cast or a stickiness and you can see it absorbs super quickly. All right, now that my SPF is on, I'm gonna go in with Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid High highlighter in the shade pearl and this is kind of like a soft off-white color I'm just taking about a teardrop size amount and pressing a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow and any place I want to add a little extra glow I just like that this makes me look a little bit more hydrated than I might actually be sometimes if I haven't done enough skincare or if I'm running out the door it makes me look nice and dewy so I'm just patting that on before I go into foundation next I'm going to use Becca aqua luminous perfecting foundation in the shade porcelain and you want to make sure that you shake this up a little bit because it is water-based and things inside it will separate so you want to mix it up before you go in to apply and I'm applying with the number 47 pro foundation brush from Sephora collection and the trick with this foundation is you want to use a flat tool a beauty blender or something that buffs or a sponge won't really do the trick you need something to kind of stretch the pigment so a flat brush like this is definitely a must-have with this product and I'm starting in the center of my face because I do like to look really soft when I'm out and about every day but I like a lot of coverage in the center where I tend to flush and on areas where I still have some post acne marks. On the places my skin is great or like looking good or having a nice moment, I'm just gonna stretch it out. And on the places I need more coverage, I'm just tapping in and adding a little bit extra. Now that my foundation's in place, I'm gonna go in with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm using this as a corrector just to eliminate any dark circles or any discoloration I have. I tend to have dark circles and I have a lot of allergies and I don't sleep nearly as much as I should and you would never know it with this product. So I'm using the Sephora Collection Pro 71 Concealer Brush and I'm just tapping a little bit in the inner corner of my eye and then just stretching it out so it helps to instantly brighten under my eyes and eliminates that discoloration. I'm also using this NARS concealer on my post acne marks. Using a corrector is great on those blemish marks where that discoloration because it helps to break up the grayish shadow that might peek through. Next, I'm gonna be using Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Porcelain. And I'm obsessed with this concealer. I'm so impressed with the formula. It is amazing. And I'm using a little bit under my eye and I like to use it on my face as well because it is a more semi-matte formula. I'm using the number 47 brush again that I use for my foundation and I'm just patting a little bit underneath my eyes just to create kind of a soft coverage. I don't want it to really look bright under my eyes because for everyday natural makeup, I don't really like that look. And I'm just patting this in and then again, just adding a little bit of extra coverage around my mouth or any areas where I want to make sure that the makeup stays throughout the day. Next, I'm going to be using Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. This product is so cool, especially if it's summertime or if you've just been on vacation and you're a little tan. The trick is with this to mix a little bit of this product in with your foundation, and it creates a bronze cast that looks super natural and super soft. You can also mix it into moisturizer. I'm mixing a little bit here into my foundation, and with my number 47 brush, I'm just kind of cocktailing those two together on my hand, and I'm just patting a little bit onto my cheeks to create a little bit of sculpt, make my face look a little bit thinner and a little bit more tan and I love the way that this blends in flawlessly it's so easy I'm also using a little bit around my jawline just to create a little added definition but you could put this any place you wanted to appear tan and if you're tan all over and your foundation is looking a little light you could just mix this in with your foundation before you apply now to add some additional glow, I'm going to be using Stila Heaven's Dew All Over Glimmer in Silver Lake. The appearance of this makes my skin look wet and healthy and beautiful. And I'm just taking my fingertips and I'm applying a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones, a little bit right up above my brow. I also like to use a little bit of this on my inner corner of my eyes and then along the cupid's bow. Any place you want to glow, but you could definitely put this just anywhere you want. And it's so easy and fingertips are the best tool to use it. Now to add a little color back into my cheeks, I'm using NARS Blush in the shade Torrid. And this is just kind of a soft coral and I'm just taking my Pro Precision Powder number 59 brush by Sephora Collection. I like to apply it back towards my ear. I don't like to really go focus too much on the apples of my cheeks because I have very full cheeks already and I like to make my face look more sculpted and lifted and this helps me do that. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes just because I definitely think that's one thing that helps me feel more awake and ready to take on the day and you can see what a difference 
difference that makes. It really opens up my eye. So just curling my lashes in a few places and then I'm going to move into mascara. And for that, I'm using Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara and I just like to build. I like a bolder lasher every day. I think for myself because I have light hair and light skin and light eyes, I like some drama and I like to bring it somewhere and mascara is where I do that with my quick everyday fresh face. All right, and to complete the look, I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer. And this is one of my favorite glosses. It feels amazing. It looks great layered over almost anything else you could put it on top of, but I love it alone too. And it creates the most perfect flush of color that looks soft and natural, and it's so comfortable to wear every day. And then just to keep it all in place throughout the day, I'm using Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Where I live, it's really, really humid. And this has temperature control technology so that you don't melt. It's like air conditioning for your face. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed getting every day ready with me. And if you would, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and tell us what products you're loving from this video. And if you want to follow me on social media, my handle is at Allie Gage. And I'll see you soon. Bye.